What's going on guys? I'm Pete and this is Retro Game Attic. So recently my Nintendo GameCube console has gotten the disc read error. Such a bummer, I know. The console just doesn't read discs, no matter which game I put in there. I've tried cleaning the laser lens with isopropyl alcohol, and it still didn't work out. So before I buy a new console, I figured I'd try the optical lens laser adjustment, which I'm going to run through the process with you today. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first things first, we'll remove the Game Boy Player attachment. And then next up, we'll remove these four game bit screws from the bottom half of the console, and we'll take them out right now. They come out pretty easily. And then from there, the bottom half of the console should just lift right up. And we'll flip the console over, and we'll remove the back panel of the console. We'll just push on these two little clips from the inside out, and it should just pop right out. And then next up, we'll unclip the controller ports at the front of the console in the same fashion that we did the back panel. And I'll turn the console around so you can get a better view here. And there's two Phillips screws that we'll remove on the back of the control port. The screws are out, and then that gray trim just comes right off. And we'll turn the console around again. And then next I'll remove the fan assembly. There's just two Phillips screws that we'll take out. And then we'll turn it around again. And you can see that there's four small Phillips head screws holding on these metal ground springs. So we'll take those out. And they're a little small, but they should come out pretty easily. And now we're almost ready to remove the optical drive from the console itself. It's situated atop a metal plate and there's 12 Phillips head screws that we'll need to remove. And then there's a few underneath the cooling fan. And then once you remove those 12 screws, the optical drive assembly should just lift right out. Just make sure you do it pretty gently. And we'll put the rest of the console to the side here. So now that we have the optical drive removed, we'll flip it over. And then you can see on the underside of the metal plate, there's six small Phillips head screws that we need to remove. And then once we get those out, the metal plate should just lift right up. And from here, I began to disconnect a connector and a ribbon cable from the bottom half here. And we actually don't need to do that. So disregard those steps for the sake of saving time. So the optical laser lens power adjustment is controlled by this little tiny knob in the bottom right hand corner of the board here. So all you're going to do here is turn the small knob using a small Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to rotate it a few degrees to about a quarter of a turn maximum. I did about an eighth of a turn here. And it's as simple as that. And then from here I'm going to speed things up a bit. We're going to reassemble the console and then we'll test out some games on here and see if we had any luck. Console powers on. That's a good sign. And moment of truth here. Hey, look at that, it's actually running. I'm super pumped to have this console back in action, that's awesome. So hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. If you're having optical lens issues with your GameCube, I wouldn't go out and buy another console. I would try these steps first and maybe you'll have some luck like I did. So what did you guys think? Please be sure to let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for checking out Retro Game Attic. I seriously appreciate you all. Stay retro and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.